Yo, what up, YouTube? What's going on? It's your boy, Geo. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Scarlet. <laughs> I got it right. No more Pokemon Legends, even though I am still playing that game soon to finish, hopefully. But um, <laughs> for now, we're going to be focusing on Scarlet. Last time I left off on this game, we were pretty much making our way towards this lovely city of uh, Mizagoza. I remember correctly. Hopefully that's the name. If not, then damn it. <laughs> But pretty much what we're doing is just trying to make our way towards the school, which is up there. Um, I did look around during my off time in this city, and it's pretty cool how this area of the city has pretty much all the shops where you can get your fit, your hats, your food, everything. There's some stuff that I'm still looking at, but for now, I'm just going to continue towards the school and just keep the let's play going and see just how it goes. Because I'm still interested in seeing what this thing is all about. Still haven't seen a lot about this game except for the things that are broken, <laughs> but we'll get to that later. For now, we got a cutscene. Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Hey, it's this girl. I forgot the name already. The one that people were flipping out about. Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to be bright with some friends like us? Or burn bright? She's got the red and blue hair, already liking that. Not really. Look, we got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members. Just sign up already. What kind of quota are you doing? Rather than that, help her out, walk away. <laughs> Listen, sometimes you just got to not get involved, right? But this is Pokemon. We're trying to be a good guy right here, so. A good character, I should say. All right, we're a Team Star Kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us, but you know that, right? <laughs> Team Star. So this must be that thing that... They were pretty much talking about, which is supposed to be one of the three branches of storytelling you could go towards in this open world of Pokemon. No, I don't know who you are. Ah, uh, another arrogant little nobody. Here I'm finally part of Team Star and I still get no respect. I gotta work my way up to the ranks. I don't think doing that little tantrum is gonna work or help out, but okay. He, we can't just let someone like this slide. The honor of our team's on the line, so we've got real choice but to battle. All right, so we're just gonna battle? All right, let's do it. I'm just gonna skip a lot of this dialogue, because I just want to get into it. No. Oh, okay. I like that little animation. Team Star Grunt is gonna go out with... What is that? Why does that Pokemon look like, um... What's that character from Luigi's Mansion, that that professor with the long nose? Oh, shoot, I forgot his name. I'm going to have to look it up. All right, let's see. I don't know what this thing is. I'm assuming it's a poison type, maybe a bug type. So let's go with bite. Make it go flinch, hopefully. Nope. Let's go bite again. Knock this one out. Continue on with our journey. Got another Pokemon, right? No, only one. All right. Spaghetti learn how to move magic leaf. What? Magic leaf? What? All right. Well, that was pretty easy. Granted, I did level up some of my Pokemon during the last time I played and now, so <laughs> I couldn't help it. Why is nobody like you? Why is nobody like you so good at battling anyway? That's just not right. It's because of my past lives. All right. He beat you. Doesn't mean like battle this kid now since I'm higher up on Team Star's rank. So you let your little okay. Pero bueno, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> uh, it's a student council dweeb. Wait, do these people go to the same school as us? I just realized that they have the same uniform. Can't believe you, Geos. You'd have to go find randos to battle. You'll have all the battles you'll need with me. Dang. <laughs> That's nearly what had happened. It was those teams. Okay, and that's not really what happened, all right? Hey, they picked a fight with you? Well, not really. Well, hmm, we kind of just involved ourselves into this thing, which we could have just walked away. I get it now. You two are the team star written all over you. And, yep, 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 yep. Uh -huh. We weren't not doing that. <laughs> well, that explains it. As head of the student council, stopping this type of nonsense would be normally my job. 
But this is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra rare gift to you. Ooh, a gift. What is it? Ooh, the Terra Orb. All right, does this mean that I can now terrestrialize my Pokemon? Yeah, I can. <laughs> nice. All right, let me battle, let me battle. Yep, 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 let's see if you, yep, 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 I'm pretty sure Spaghetti will be the grass type. Normally you begin to take a special class to be able to do this, but I put in a good word for you. Thank you, Nimona. All right, let's do this. Let's just get into it, man. Already, I'm, I'm already liking this battle music right here for this team. Not a bad song already. I'm not gonna switch Pokemon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep Spaghetti right here. <laughs> let's do this and let's do Magical Leaf. Is Magical Leaf what I think it is? The one that never miss. Yeah, target this attack never. Yep. All right, let's do it. Oh, beautiful. Damn. <laughs> what the heck? But then again, my Pokemon must have been above the level that it was supposed to be. Also, you see how that late that chick right there is just dancing behind her? Uh, behind him? That's a good friend right there. We all need a friend like that. Just to support us, even when we're doing bad. Just the hype right there. Nice, GS, you pulled off terrestrialization, no problem. Moves of your Pokemon Terra will hit even harder when they're terrestrialized, you know? Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose Terra type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up a strategic options. Gotta charge your Terra Orb at a Pokemon Center after every use by healing up your team, though. So, you really gotta be careful to use it, got it. So yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick it up trouble. They hardly ever show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them, for what I hear. Wow. Wow. That's kind of bad. Um, excuse me? I, um, uh, just, well, uh, thanks. <laughs> oh, is she really gonna just walk away like that? So yeah, see you around. Well, you're welcome. Always lend a helping hand. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at you, Geo's already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That Eevee bag, though. Love that fluff. Anyways, see, like, the troubles died down, so we better book it up to school. You ready to climb the worst staircase in the world? Here we are, Geo's. Welcome to Orange Academy. This here is the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of class on the desk behind me and those halls on the side. Lead to, oh, those halls on the side lead to all different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to get lost in battle. It's totally big enough to let loose in battle here, but for no reason, or for some reason, they ban Pokemon battling in the main entrance. Well, yeah, because you don't want to battle where people are trying to get their stuff organized. Ah, Cleveland. How did you find the first school commute? We had a blast. It was tough. Well, let's just say it was a blast. I imagine Miss Nimona's high spirit helped with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion rank student, council president. All right. I get it. <laughs> just, just flashing that title every time they meet up. Reliable as ever, Miss Nimona. Well, I don't know how to look after my friends. Right? Oh, I... Uh, but look at the time. You two had better hurry along. Class will be starting soon. Are we really going to go to class? We're in class 1A Geos. Come on, I'll show you the way. Wait, do I really have to attend class? Because I know that's a thing, but do you actually have to? Or what's going on? Yo, you see those like weird... Those weird frames right there? <laughs> it's too much to handle for the game. Alright, Mr. Jock, what are we learning today? We have the exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? What's the news? Tell us the news. It better not be me. Sooner, but we have a new little friend joining. Yep, oh, yeah, there it is. It's me. Oh, shoot. All eyes gonna be on me. 
I wonder what they're gonna be like. It's gonna be awkward, man. <laughs> Could I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Sure, right, I'm Gia, sure, I'm Gia. Okay, if I say sure, that makes it sound like I'm confident, like sure, I'm Gia. But then it's like right, and I'm like, you know, kind of shy. Like, right, um, I'm Gio. See, see, even the exclamation mark right there. I'm going to go for confidence. The cheer day seems super friendly and fun. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you, Geos. All right, then. Who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? Wait, what kind of question? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? Oh, oh. What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? I like battling with Pokemon. I like collecting Pokemon. I like playing with my Pokemon. I like everything about Pokemon. Yeah, I do like everything about Pokemon. Then I, was, I wonder if I were to say that like battling with Nomona chime in and be like, that's what's up. That'd be kind of cool if they did that. Does anyone else have a question? Okay, yeah. Yeah, all right, Nomona. You went, <laughs> you went to an, you went to all the trouble of enrolling here. So spell Geos. Why? What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? Ooh, talk about dreams, let's go. Okay, let's see. I want to complete the Pokedex. I want to be a strong trainer. I don't actually know. I want to be the best. And to be the best, you need to be a strong trainer. So we're gonna go for that. Always go for the highest. Always go high, you know, in life. You will be, oh, I just know it. You and me, we're going to get strong battles together. Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself, Gio. I'm Mr. Jock. I teach biology here at the academy, and I'm also your homeroom teacher. That's your seat, second row from the front. All right. Not a bad seat. I usually end up sitting more towards the back. Not that I was a troublemaker or anything, I just felt more relaxed right there. All right, the only problem with sitting in the back though is if you get picked on to answer a question, you have to yell. Well, not yell, but be louder. Whereas if you're in the front, you don't have to be. <laughs> so that's probably the only bad thing about sitting in the back. All right, your re okay, your rag muffins, rag muffins. What the heck? Be nice and friendly to our new classmate. Be well, um, Mr. Jock. Wait, what? Wait, what am I supposed to do? Welcome to the academy. What kind of class is that where you just walk around? Well, oh, class must have ended. Okay, that's why. I'm out here wondering why we were just walking around. You can now move around the school. Try checking out a place on the map where you see that someone might be hanging around. Perhaps you'll discover something. Now choose a location to start exploring. Oh, I gotta choose. Oh, what? The kind ladies working in the cafeteria make delicious, nutritious fare every day. Hmm. Staff room. A room for a, for the facility. You're literally to run into various teachers here. All right. And then classroom 1A. You in Nimona's classroom for students in the general studies track. Mr. Jack and the homeroom teacher. All right. Who do we go for? Do we go to Nimona or... Uh, this dude. I forgot already his name. Let's go with this dude. Maybe he'll tell us more about Coridon because he was the one that gave us Coridon in the last video. So, Irvin, there you go. Arvin, yeah, Arvin. <laughs> oh, hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? Oh, from the lighthouse. I don't think we met. Yes, we. <laughs> Uh, I want to pick this right now so bad. All right. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all buddy. Got it. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all buddy. Got a mind like a steel trap, eh? I don't know what that means. No need to tell me your name, Geos, right? Whole school seems to be talking about... Oh, the whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up with the president of the student, student console. I don't really wouldn't even be bothering showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to walk with you, our new celebrity. Oh, just to talk to you. 
You gotta help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. What's your dream, bud? What's this dream first? <laughs> Caught your interest, have I? You want to hear all about my dream, right? I'm the good thing it's about food. Well, this might come to a surprise, but the fact is, I'm all about the picnic life. The great outdoors. The perfectly prepared sandwiches. All of it. My man. Sandwich? We're going to get along just well. <laughs> right now, I'm researching new recipes that will help Pokemon feel better. Real healthy food. See? I found this book the other day, and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Mystica? Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. But this book says that they're all guarded by Titans. Ah, the Titans. Pokemon meaning that it's going to be pretty tough to dry and grab even a few sprigs. Because, see, Titans are, well, I think they're got to be like things like this. Ah, that's one of the new Pokemon. Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of the mysterious Pokemon. Though we wondered if these huge, ferocious beasts were indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was no um, mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat for the time. We didn't think he would make it, but he did. Monsters of Area Zero. A member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to a Pokemon known as Dauphin. Yet differences such as its sheer size and the shape of its back set it part as do its great tusk. Dauphin? Oh, Dauphin. I said that wrong. My bad. Yeah, that's Dauphin. Does that mean Dauphin can technically evolve? I still don't know what that is. I just know that I saw it in one of the trailers. I really want to get these herbs for myself, but I'm not really good at Pokemon battles. Yeah, I know that after our first battle together. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. And I'd never hear the end of it if I were crawling to a student council girl. But here you what's up. You gotta help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Alright. As long as I get something returned, man. Nope. Wait. I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the place where it seems there might be a tie-in in your map for you. Oh, dude, look at that phone case. It's kind of cool. Ooh. The Titan's layers have been added to your map. Okay, we have a Dragon Titan, an Earth Titan, a Sky one, a Steel, and a Cliff. So Rock, Steel, Flying, Ground, and Dragon. It's only five? Huh. The path of legends have opened up. Okay, so that's one of three. Let us do a bit and get more into the details later. And in the meantime, take this. A little gift for listening and all. Stardust, all right. Give the idea some serious thought, please. <laughs> Why do you run away and say that? Could have just said it like, all right, let's catch you later. Bro, to toe, to toe, to Oh, dude, there's a, there's a, what's that Pokemon on the right? Oh, I forgot it. I forgot its name already. Nah, it's not Shinx. What the heck is it? Ah, I forgot. <laughs> so many Pokemon. I can't remember all the names. This is Geos, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. Kind of a what? What? Hold on. Okay. Who's hacking on my phone? This is a brand new phone. Come on now. What kind of shenanigans that? Also, how'd you even know this was my phone? I'm sorry, who are you? What do you mean, hacked? Yeah, let's... Yeah. Well, as far as you're concerned, it means I'm basically in control of your phone now. Wow, that's kind of scary. My name's... Cassiopeia. Okay. But never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Geos. You know about Team Star, right? Not really, so... Yeah, no, not really. No. I just know that they're a rowdy bunch. 
Nice try, but I know for a fact you've already crossed paths with them. Okay, so this is the Penny Girl. Team Star is a group of troublemakers farm or formed by some academy student a while back. They actually cause headaches for the school and trying to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. Oh, so that's what that is. But I don't need allies to carry out this operation. And I'd like you to, to become one of them. Listen, um, if I say no, does this mean you're gonna, you know, try to blackmail me? Or what's going on? No? No need to reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I'll leave you to it. Bye. Bro, imagine being a kid. <laughs> that happening, like, I just got your phone and I'm in control. Like, what? Please try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? Of course, sir. I'll be more careful. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. That's true. Always make sure to be aware of your surroundings when speaking. Not just on the phone, but with other people, you know? Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about this day and age. Aha, <laughs> you see? Thank you, Mr. Clavel, for sharing that information. On you go, then, young man. Look at that weasel. Team Star, you say? Alright, so here we are in the main school hub. I'm assuming this thing will be it. So I'm gonna go try and talk to the girl now. So this is where all the teachers are at. Very well, Champion Nimona. <laughs> I trust you do handle this my seed. Sure thing, you count on me. In fact, I bet it's gonna be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, then. Oh, pardon me. Isn't that supposed to be the... Uh... Damn, I forgot the title of that character. Not the name of the character, but the title they hold. For the Pokemon gym in... League and all that stuff. Oh, Geos, hey. Who was that? She looked awesome. <laughs> Let's ask appropriate questions. Who was that? Picked your interest on. The lady is, well, they call her La Primera. La Primera, the first? Is that, what, is that pretty much it? La Primera, as in the first. She's strong. She could do pretty much anything. She's got cool, particularly... Oh. She's got cool, practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be, or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. Oh, which reminds me, remember in Homeroom when I asked what your dream is? Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a really strong trainer, I've got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that. Aw, but talent like yours deserves to be used. Hear me out. <laughs> Hear me out. The trainer who reaches champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro-tiered battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. And you have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League of official to get the title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take class here. You need to participate in the gym battles. You gotta take on eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test, the champion's assessment. And once you pass that, that at long last, you'll be a champion. It's even a Pokemon's trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything, but I'm already champion. <laughs> you see, they're in our last treasure hunt, you know? Uh, treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we've all got here. Should happy should be happening soon. Our last one started not long ago after beginning of the school year. It's great to oh it's great you got to leave school. Oh gosh. It's great. You get to leave school to go have a adventure and learn however you want. 
Ooh, that's kind of interesting. But you have to have discipline and actually do the learning yourself. I guess you could say my journey to become a champion was a treasure I found my... maybe? I don't know yet. I and mean, that's the answer I'm looking for. But... 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 there's a but somewhere. Anyway, I've got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if I... or if you and I were both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's location in your map in case you decide to go for it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. And I already know which gym I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for the bug one. Yep, that's the one, the bug one. Cause I know there is one in the right and one to the left. Oh, but there's the electric dime, the electric one. Ah. Victory Road. Okay, so that's two or three. I don't know what the third one is. I forgot. Oh, no, wait, we already got three or three. Give it some taunt. Although that third one didn't technically start yet. All we know is it's just the starfall. Calling Mr. Geos to the director's office. Calling Mr. Geos, please respond. Once again, Master Geos to the director's office, please. Like a true school. Well, actually, I don't think schools do that anymore. I can't remember the last time they did something like that. Yep, there it is. Yeah, I can't... I've been... I remember being in high school, but for some reason, I can't remember the last time they did something like that where they announced it in the speaker. Huh. I just remember office TAs coming to the class and giving the slip and then be like, um, the Geos? Here you go. And then you just got to read the note and then you got to go wherever you got to go. Thank you for coming, Mr. Geos. Have you ever been enjoying your time here at Naraha Academy, Orange Academy? Yes. Mine is the phone being hacked. That is most wonderful to hear. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, Professor Sada, that's right. My name is Professor Sada. I carry out Pokemon research with the great crater of Paldea. Great crater? At a site known as Area Zero, I'm assuming Area Zero is the centerpiece inside what looks like the volcano. I'm assuming that, it, yep, there it is. <laughs> Man, my brain is just connecting all this stuff. The professor is, in fact, a graduate of our fine academy as well as a splendid researcher. Oh, Professor Soda, oh, how good to see that you are well. It has been quite a while since we last met. Kuraiden was once in my care, you see. But why? What's the story behind this Pokemon? Its Pokeball was also originally mine. I sure, I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. That's your son. I'm no longer in my position. Oh, no longer in my. Oh. <laughs> no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. That is why. Oh, that is what I would ask for you. Will you continue to look after Kuraiden on my behalf? Sure. I do appreciate your argument or agreement <laughs> argument. Corrida has been greatly okay. Corrida has been greatly weakened and is currently incapable of battling. It can, however, take a form of specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. But why? How did it lose them, and why? I will provide you with my contact information if you would please go to... Oh, get out your phone. I will be in regular contact going forward to keep tabs on your status. Damn, so much is happening within the first day of school. Until then. Well, it seems that the professor is asking quite a favor of you. But of course, the academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that Coridon. All right, Professor. Area Zero. Hmm, what are you doing down there, Professor? Damn, that's funny how... <laughs> Wait, what is this? You see this right here? Oh, if we can't interact with that. Oh, well. Nimona, hello. Excuse me. 
Oh, you're still here, Geos. Oof, getting called into the director's office. How'd you land in that much trouble already? Nah, kidding. I know it's like that. Isn't it like that? How would you know? You never know. Mr. Jack wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Oh, that's right. We're living in here. Your very own private room, Geos. Let's go check it out. Your dorm room. Damn, that's crazy to think. To actually live in the dorm rooms of a school. Like, I remember as a kid, I thought that was kind of cool. But now, like, I'm looking at it and thinking about it and like, huh. It's got to be kind of, like, weird. Not in a bad way, but just in, like, obviously you're not going to get used to it within the first day or so, you know? From today on, this is your room, Geos. Actually, it's a new to me. No, oh, actually, it's as new to me as it is to you. Never been here before. Maybe check out your new bed, looks comfy, and must be pretty worn out from all this stuff happening on your very first day, huh? Oh yeah, that's a lot of stuff to mean. There is so much being told to me. First the class, first the star group, and then we've got Arvin and his dream and wanted to go and get the ingredients. And then we've got the professor with Coridon. And now we've got the gyms. Crab rest in your bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. I'll see you tomorrow when we rest up. Then we can battle even more. <laughs> Take care. I wonder if we can customize this room. That'd be kind of cool. Well, let's see what happens if we do take a nap. Ready to call it a day? You'll need to rest for if you want to prepare for the new school life. Well, yeah, let's do it. Unless that's part of the story, we have to. Do we have to? I hope we don't. Oh, we had to. Oh, wow. The day quickly flew by after you started your new life in the Orange Academy. And then at least the day arrived with your true adventure to begin. I was about to say, are we sleeping for so many days or what was going on? Attention all students. Today marks the beginning of the most important new assignment. Please assemble to the schoolyard where I will explain the more details. Well, damn. Just barged in. It's time. It's time for what? And then waiting forever for this? Come on, let's go. for this. Let's go out to the schoolyard, all right? All right, so technically this isn't the next day. This is like the fourth day. Assuming based on how fast the sun and moon Went around. This leads to the bathroom. Make sure to keep it nice and clean. Okay, well. Maybe let's go to director's orders. All right, let's go. Schoolyard. Is the schoolyard above the school? Did I just see that map correctly? Oh, shit. it might actually be in the roof. What? It seems everyone is here. Well, then it is time to explain your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. Ask teachers of you to go oh, travel the world in search of your own treasure. Ask each of you. Okay. You all have learned so much within the walls of our fine academy. But now it's time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and depend your understanding. Uh, <laughs> Explore Paldea's abundant nature, soak in the rich nature. Discover the Pokemon that live here and get to know the people too. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partner will be there to help you. You will journey together, learn new things together, share each other's thoughts and feelings, and find something you might always treasure. The memories, the feels, this is all interesting now. Now I'm starting to see how it's like all fitting in. Like how like you go from school and just go and literally just go on your own. Now it makes sense. Yo, what is that? Is that a gecko? Tomoya, it's time for the great outdoors. Come on, Psych Lazor. We're riding out. <laughs> we're riding out? What do you mean we're riding out? How is that Pokemon supposed to be written? Take care, everyone, and remember the great... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Take care, everybody, and remember the great crater of Paldea's... Ex 
exceedingly dangerous, okay. Entering in a violation of school rules, alright. Because that's area zero. What are you waiting for, Jill? Let's go. Go where? I haven't even chosen my path. There's three. Alright, let's talk to Nimona one more time and then get to it. Geos, Geos. The treasure hunt is finally starting. What do they mean by treasure? What are we supposed to do? Yeah, what are we supposed to do? Yeah, fair question. Since your first time, come on, let's walk and talk. I'm guessing that we gotta choose which path we wanna do. The treasure hunt is a huge part of the Nanaha Academy school year. The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure, necessarily. We're both just making our own adventure to see what experience Paldir has got to offer. Oh. You could try to beat Pokemon gyms. You could help out other people in need. You could hunt for real capital T treasure. If you want, even. That's stuff we've never learned sitting on a classroom, you know? This is our chance to learn it. Um, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was, I was going to make a comment about that, where maybe the reason for this treasure hunt is to actually put in everything you learn into an actual, you know, effect basically, like actually do stuff, and see whether or not you actually learned or not. Because <laughs> if you pass, then that means you learned. Therefore, you graduate. If not, then that means you gotta get back in the class and learn. Like that's how I'm seeing it. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. You and me for sure got to battle if we run into each other out there. I hope you're ready. Yeah. Now I am, now that I understand it clearly. Oh, yeah. Battle can wait. I mean, to tell you, did you know that your phone's map lets you set yourself destinations? Yes, it does. I did learn that when I got lost between the tower and Los Platos. <laughs> You can try setting one of the gems as your destination. That'll get you in your way easy. Okay. How's that? Okay. How's that for a student council president? Giving your own friend an insider advantage. Hey, Ar Arvin. Insider advantage? Sheesh. You make it sound like... <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> like we're cheating or something. All I did was suggest that he check out the gyms. It's up to Jill's whether he goes or not. Jill's gonna have his hand full searching out tiny Pokemon with me. He doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing after a champion rank. Me and him are gonna be too busy visiting the lairs of the Titans and nabbing their Herba Mystical. Jill, is this true? Insidio, are you serious? Don't go filling his head with weird stories. Well, technically, wouldn't you want to look at a Titan Pokemon if you're all about wanting to have strong Pokemon or be a stronger Pokemon trainer? Because that'll be kind of like a cool achievement to reach. Hey, all I did was invite him along. It's still up to Geos whether he goes or not. And he's made a point. Oh, there's the Mr. Hacker. Yep, yep, yep. There it is. Yep. Cassiopeia here. It's about Operation Starfall, remember what I told you before? Team Star is made up of five individual squads. Each one's got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Team Star grunts may try to get in your way, but I'll help you out from a distance, of course. And heads up, that the bosses each specialize in different types of Pokemon, just remember that I need water. <laughs> Just remember that uh, the name of the crew and you'll figure it out. Still, no need to worry. With your skills, I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add the base's location to your phone. Ah. Yo, why is that one right there in the center look kind of cool? Oh, poison. Okay. You got fire. You got dark, you got poison, fighting, and fairy. That's kind of cool. There's the third one. Now we've got all three open up. Good luck with those boss.
bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait on a second. Who are you supposed to be? In any team star, those punks are seriously hazard. They're not Geo's problem. That's right, because he's got more and more things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients. Oh, Arvin, or Arvin, you're cool. I thought it was up to Geo to decide whether he goes or not. Wasn't that what you said? Nimona and Arvin. Dropping names like that? How did you know my... Yep, <laughs> I knew it. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can pull off, Geos. Bye. What was that all about? Geos, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here, but try not to get dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We got a big adventure to start. I'm gonna battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. If I just keep training to become the strongest, I bet the experience will be the thing I treasure. Oh, and um, I know we've been running our mouths, but it's your call what you do, Geos. Go on where you want and do what it is you really want to do the most. A treasure of your own. For me, that's got to be my, er, my big dream of tracking down the Herba Mystica, that is. For me, I got to be a... M-A-E-R. I don't know what that is. What you'd be saying right there. Once we get those herbs, I'll make sure you do absolutely best sandwich you've ever had in your life. Okay. Arvin, you sold me right there. Best sandwich. I'm helping you out. <laughs> Just... If you don't know why I'm saying that, you gotta watch the first part of this whole Pokemon Scarlet series. <laughs> Look, even Corridon's like, yo, we gotta help him out, alright? I want another delicious sandwich. But what you come up for? Because you said sandwich, my boy. Just come up because you said, yep, there it is. <laughs> well, you're not getting one. Well, if you ain't getting one, I ain't helping you, dude. You gotta share it. Ah, Pokemon. This stuff is just great. <laughs> uh, anywho, Pokemon has now, well, the game has now opened up. So we can pretty much go wherever we want now. And I'm honestly not sure where to go, because I can easily go for the Gents right now, or the Titans, or the Starfall. So I'm going to have to go and actually, like, think about it. <laughs> but who knows? For any of y'all who are watching and stuck around, first of all, I want to say thank you for watching the whole thing. Make sure to leave a like for your boy. <laughs> but um, comment down below, what do you think I should do? What should I focus on more? Should I focus more on the gems? Should I focus more on the Titan or focus more on the uh, Starfall? Because honestly, I think we can do all three of them eventually. Or I think you could do all three of them. But um, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, with that being said, make sure to leave a like. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Later.